Okay, how you guys doing? I just want to go over a setup that I've been running on live and I messed around on PTS, which is where I'm at now. And it looks like it's going to get a little bit better. So I have a bow setup and a dual wheel setup and I'll go over the, the gear real quick. So we have five venomous smite. I went with a sharpened bow um, with double dot poisons, a venomous great sword and sharpened on the back bar. I like to go sharpened uh, on my back bar because when I bar swap while I have somebody poisoned up, the dots will tick just that much harder. And then one piece vela dreth just for the weapon damage. And this, these are going to be all medium, all divines. The other set is going to be scavenging demise. And this set's pretty cool. I like it. It's, it's different. And I like to do like, different things, like weird things like this sometimes. Um, the two piece gives you weapon and spell damage. The third and fourth piece give you uh, critical chance. And the fifth piece is whenever you deal critical poison damage to an enemy, a scavenging maw pops up and punches a guy for a good chunk of damage. And it also applies minor vulnerability for 15 seconds. And it can occur every 10 seconds and scales off of your higher of the weapon or spell damage. Okay, and then the jewelry is going to be infused with um, weapon damage glyphs and then ring of the wild hunt for some speed so this is the bow setup and I'll just shoot this thing real quick see all that poison damage so that's, that's gonna uh, the bow setup has a way higher chance of proccing the scavenger yeah look at that yeah all right, and I'll go over the skills real quick for the bow setup. All right, we have on the front bar, a lethal arrow. It's a good source of poison damage. I have to have lethal arrow on there. Um, poison injection, another uh, source of poison damage and execute. Magnum shots, kind of like our CC slash uh, knock people off walls and bridges ability. And then Reaper's Mark is just my slot that I I put uh, something from the ambush line. Um, Relentless Focus could, would probably be a better option. I'm just, just not used to using it that much. And then Camo Hunter um, for the added crit chance with, um, uh, what's it called? Major Savagery. And you also get um, Minor Berserk for five seconds when you deal critical damage from uh, Flank. And then Toxic Barrage is another source of poison damage and it's a lot of fun to use to shoot somebody with. And the back bar is going to be Shadowy Disguise for sneakiness, uh, Leeching Strikes to help you with your stamina sustain, Channel Acceleration for Major Expedition and Minor Force, then Rally is kind of like our heal slash uh, Major Brutality source. And then Vigor for healing. And then I have Precognition in here, but the other morph's good too. It's a nice escape tool when it works. If I'm having one of those nights where it doesn't work, I just slap Soul Tether in here. That's usually what I actually what I'm running on live is Soul Tether. All right, so that's the uh, bow setup. I'll go over the champion points in a minute because it's the same for both the bow and dual wield setup. All right, so. Alright, for the dual wield setup, I have two maces sharpened. Same, everything else is going to be the same except for I'm running two piece Veladreth. And the jewelry is going to be all swift with um, weapon damage glyphs. But everything else is going to stay the same. And that's the. And now I'll go over the skills real quick. We got surprise attack, ambush. Mass Hysteria, our Whirling Blades down here, and then Soul Tether. Alright, I'll go over this again real quick. Yeah, so we have um, Surprise Attack. It's a, a great ability. It's hard, and it can CC if you hit somebody from the flank. Ambush is our Gap Closer, and it's another source of minor vulnerability, but mostly because it's a, a Gap Closer. Like if you're trying to get somebody off of a horse, uh, sometimes you need you need this to get to catch them, and then mass hysteria is our CC, 
uh, whirling blades for our execute and another chance of proccing a weapon poison. Again, camo hunter and soul tether. And a lot of times I actually do uh, double bar soul tether. Alright, and I'll show you. I'll just hit this guy real quick. Mm -hmm. All that. Looks good. Okay, so that's the gear for both setups. And then I'll go over the character. Uh, obviously, I'm an Argonian. I'm only, I only picked Argonian because I like Argonians. Um, they're my favorite race in the game. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I like to pick a character. You know, I have a character I like logging into. I have to make them look cool, and I, just, I think they look cool. Anyway, so you want all your points in uh, stamina. Um, tri stat foods is what I run. I like to have a little bit of extra health and magicka. We're going with the Warrior Mundus. And Vampire Stage 2 is pretty nice. So you have that uh, that vampire passive. Um, I forget the name of it. Let me pull it up real quick. Strike from the Shadows. So whenever you leave Sneak or Invisibility or Misform or whatever, um, it increases your weapon and spell damage by 300 for 6 seconds. That's, that's pretty nice. Pretty good chunk of bonus damage. Nice. So that's the skill. That's the character sheet. Um, the other races that would that would probably be better options damage-wise, I would say a Dark Elf, Orc, Khajiit. Wood Elf's pretty good because it got speed and penetration. Um, and High Elf. So pretty much almost every other race other than Argonia. But I, I like the potion passive and I like the way they look. Okay, let's go over the champion points. It's going to be the same for both the bow and dual wield setup. Alright, for the blue tree, we got uh, Fighting Finesse. Increase your critical damage by 10%. And don't forget, like, uh, Venomous Smite and Scavenging Demise can crit uh, in the Deadlands update. So this will affect them too. Uh, Master at Arms. Increase your damage done with direct damage attacks by 10%. And this will affect Veldreth and Scavenging Demise as well. Deadly Aim. This is, increases your damage done with single target attacks by 10%. And this affects all three of the proc sets also. And then Backstabber. Uh, increase your critical damage done by 15% when you're flanking an enemy. That's the blue tree. We'll go with the red. A thrill of the hunt. Whenever you kill an enemy, you get major expedition for six seconds, which is really nice. It lets you get in and out. And then uh, celerity. Increase your movement speed by 10%. And then bastion. This will increase the effectiveness of damage against people um, with damage shields by 15%. And Bloody Renewal, I just, again, I put this on here um, just to test out, like, uh, to help out with, like, stamina, sustain. So it's kind of like you're, you're killing people for free, I always say. All right, and the green tree, I have Sustaining Shadows. Uh, reduces your sneak by 50%. Steed's Blessing, increase your movement out of uh, combat speed by 20%. And then uh, just have Liquid Efficiency and Rationer. These just help with uh, like the buff timers and, and potion usage. And I'll go into a little more detail on this blue tree real quick. Some stuff you should have. Uh, so I would max this out right here, Precision. And then uh, come in here to Extended Might. Max this out, Piercing. Come over here, might as well max that out if you can. And then come down here, and it's kind of like a free, you don't have to slot this. 100 weapon and spell damage to your your attacks, your uh, poison, disease, and bleed damage. Alright, so that's basically it for the champion points for both sets. Now, currently I'm running uh, Scavenging Demise with Plague Break, but Plague Break doesn't crit. I tested it out on the test server. I thought it was on the list of critical sets, but it does not. But yep, that's that. 
I'll show you guys some uh, a little bit of gameplay from live. It's a, it's a little different, but same concept. Alright, catch y'all later.